Well, hello everyone. Just a quick Office Script update here. I was doing some testing for my attack skill video, and it's apologies right up front. It's taking longer than expected because the numbers down here do not line up with the numbers in the Forgotten Construction Set, which is not what I expected. So I'm having to actually, you know, let my characters duke it out and count how many hits are blocked and how many get through which is more complicated than it sounds. There are more difficult things than just hit or not hit. But I accidentally came across what basically amounts to the best training strategy in the game. So this right here, Paste, was actually my character with exact copy of Hugh here. Combat stats in the 40s, you have a Falling Sun, which I'm using because it has no uh, stat bonuses or stat penalties. So whatever I set them to is what they have. And also, it, no, it it's heavy, so it's slow. It's easy for me to keep track of. You don't have to worry about them using one block zone and switching to another block zone halfway through, which the, what that actually means we'll get to in the next video. And then I have storm goggles because I'm in a dust storm right now. So, just to get rid of those penalties, make sure everything is starting as normal. I know penalties on the close. Everything nice and simple. But you may have noticed that Paste has not attacked this entire time. What I did was I set Paste to block before dismissing her from my party. And now she's stuck in, right here, the defensive state. So preservation defensive state. That's exactly what it sounds like. She's just going to stand there and block forever. You can see the plus 20 bonus to defense like it normally does, being in block mode. Why that's important is because if you do the typical training strategy of knocking out a bandit, throwing him in a shack somewhere, and just beating him up with your guys, giving him really good armor, really crappy weapons, same for yourself, and then you just fight him until he gets knocked out, throw him in a cage, wait till he heals, do it again. You can still get hurt, you can still get knocked out. And when you go and you get better opponents, say a High Inquisitor, and you're trying to train off of this guy, well, if he knocks you out, you could be screwed. You need to have someone who can jump in there and, and take them out so that you can at least heal. That is no longer an issue. Uh, the penalty for that is that you have to give up one of your own recruits. It doesn't have to be a good recruit, though, because you can still beat that person up, bandage them up, wait till they heal, whatever. And he won't be training defense or toughness, but you have unlimited attack, strength, dexterity, and weapon skill EXP with absolutely no risk. All you have to do is keep this person fed and then now and then heal your training partner. Now they're going to get really good at blocking and they're going to get really hard to take down from all that toughness XP. But that's fine. Because <laughs> they're never going to fight back. As long as you're not duking it out in the open like I am, where things can come out and attack you, it doesn't matter. I've just let this one go for two or three days. I've gone from 40 attack to 55, 40 strength to 57, 40 dex to 50, and 40 heavy weapon skill to 54. I've never been hit once. So that's just... Something I thought you guys would find interesting. Is it cheesy? Yes, uh, it is very cheesy. Is it worth it? That's up to you. That's... I don't know, like I said, unscripted. Just something I thought was interesting. And a little update for you guys to... You know, I am still working on it. If I can't get it done this weekend, then I'll have another video out for you. Just one way or another, there will be content this weekend. And I'll be streaming as well. Today, actually. So. Thank you all for watching. 
let me know if you think this is a little bit too easy. <laughs> it is it is ridiculous. But I mean you're fighting against 74 defense here, so anyway, I'm just rambling. Have a good time and see you guys soon. This is Terminal Cow.